Um, you may have seen some of my uh, other videos, um, how I explain. Bloody seagulls make a hell of a racket. Shut up. Uh, anyway, uh, you may have seen some of my other videos uh, of um, how I always have a, a mouse trap set up in the shed during the winter months. Um, it's a good idea to because um, they, they start coming into sheds. Shut up! Um, they start coming into sheds, you know, to uh, make their nests and things. Well, I've caught another one this morning. Um, I set my traps. Well, I've only got a snap trap set up um, a few months back now, and I've caught, I don't know, probably about six, something like that. But the one I caught this morning is um, quite a big one, and I'll just show it you now. Uh, as you can see, um, you know, if you've got a shed like mine, um, it's not exactly. Uh, well, you know, I know what everything is, but you know, it's not exactly um, a tip. But as you can see, it's full of stuff, and it only takes you know a few mouse, a few mice to get in, and they'll they'll start nesting. You need, you really, you won't know that they're in here until they start doing some damage. You know, uh, now and they'll also they'll bloody multiply. They'll attract other mice and all sorts. So it's always best to uh, have a trap set up. And. Uh, that's it there, I'll just bring it out into the light and you can see uh, in relation to the size of the, the trap, it's only a little uh, small snap trap but see the size of the mouse, that is a big one, that is a big bastard that, you get a few of them in your shed and they can do quite a bit of damage. So that's my advice, is uh, you know, just get one of these little snap traps, you don't have to get nothing elaborate, just put a bit of peanut butter and uh, set it up in your shed. You never know what's lurking inside your shed, size of that bastard. Anyway that's one mouse that's not going to be doing any damage in my shed.